A Pinellas County deputy shot three times during a shootout last month is speaking for the first time. Today, we're learning how he's doing and seeing what led up to the deadly shooting. Dave Wagner joins us now, and Dave, walk us through it. After being released from the hospital just three weeks ago, Corporal Matthew Aitken answered questions about the foot chase turned shootout that left him with three gunshot wounds. New body cam video just released today shows exactly how this all went down. We do want to warn you, though, some of the video may be tough to watch. Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Shirt those pain, I stop! Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Just before Corporal Matthew Aitken was shot in the neck, hand, and leg, he was pursuing a car burglary suspect with his partner, Sergeant Jake Viano and K-9 Taco. With Taco's help, deputies pursued Zion Bostic behind a house, where instead of taking off, he fired shots toward deputies. After Aitken was hit, Sergeant Viano shot Bostic, who died at the scene. When I was on the ground, I actually thought I got shot in the head, and then I passed out, and then, um, you know, I, w I woke up. <laughs> Screaming for Jake because, you know, Jake's been my mentor all through K-9 when he was a K-9 handler, and I thought Jake was dead. Um, so I remember everything um, uh, up to the point that I woke up, and then you know, once, I, once I start getting drugs on the medics, I don't really remember much after that. Yeah. Corporal Aitken said he's expected to make a full recovery within about six months. A use of deadly force investigation was conducted by the state attorney and determined the shooting of Bostic was justified. Sheriff Bob Gultieri said K-9 Taco reacted exactly how he was trained and played an integral part in tracking down Bostic and protecting the deputies' lives.